A bumper £15 billion cost of living relief package was unveiled by the Chancellor last week. Here's how to get all the payments you are due. Every household will get at least £400 to go towards their bills as prices are expected to rocket further later this year. The boss of Ofgem has predicted the price cap could hit around £2,800 in October. It will be a bitter blow for households who are already struggling to afford costs, with £6 million already in debt with their supplier by an average of £188. Here's how to make sure you're getting all the payments you're eligible for. The £650 cost of living payment. 8 million households on means-tested benefits will get a £650 cost of living payment. The payments will go to everyone on means-tested benefits including universal credit, pensions credit, housing benefit, job seekers allowance and income support. The Department for Work and Pensions will make the payment in two lump sums. You will get the first £325 instalment from July and the second £325 in the autumn, although an exact date hasn't been announced yet. You don't have to do anything to get the payment, it will be given out automatically, but there is an eligibility criteria for it. You will need to be on eligible benefits or have begun a successful claim as of May 25th, 2022 to get the first payment. If you have a joint claim with a partner, both of you will get one payment of £650. The £400 energy bill grant. The £400 energy bill grant will replace current plans for a £200 energy rebate which households were told they would have to pay back over five years. Originally the £200 discount was to be dished out to households in October, with repayments to be taken automatically from people's bills in £40 instalments from April next year. However, now every household will get a £400 grant which you won't have to pay back in later years. The £400 discount will be dished out automatically to all households in England, Scotland and Wales. It means you don't have to apply for the grant to get it. The help will be given out to households via their energy supplier from October. It will be paid in instalments over the successive six months. Direct debit and credit customers will see the money credited to their account while customers with prepayment meters will have the money added to their meter or they will receive a voucher. The £300 cost of living payment for pensioners. In November or December of this year, a £300 one-off pensioner cost of living payment will be dished out to 8 million households. It will be given to those who receive the winter fuel payment, which is worth between £100 and £300 that those over state pension age get already. The £300 help will be paid on top of this support, which means eligible households will see their payments double this winter. Payments will be made directly to eligible households, meaning you don't have to do anything in order to get the support if you are eligible for it. You are eligible for a winter fuel payment if you were born on or before the 26th of September 1955, you lived in the UK for at least one day during the week of the 20th to the 26th of September 2021, which is called the qualifying week. For most pensioner households, the help will be paid via a direct debit payment. The £150 disability payment. Six million people with disabilities will receive £150 in September. This is to help them pay for any energy intensive equipment they have, which could be driving up their bills. Many disability benefit recipients also get means tested benefits. So this £150 sum is separate to the £650 payment you'll get. And like the £650 cash boost, the £150 help will be exempt from tax. We will not count towards the benefit cap and will not have any impact on existing benefit awards. Payments will be made directly by the government to eligible households. And you will qualify for the help if you have or have begun a successful claim for the following benefits as of May 25th, 2022, such as disability living allowance, personal independence payment, attendance allowance, Scottish disability benefits, armed forces independence payment, constant attendance allowance, war pension mobility supplement. I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, please give it a like. Do consider subscribing if you haven't done so already. Why not share this video with someone else you might think may benefit from it and feel free to leave any questions or comments in the section below and I'll get back to you as soon as possible. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.